my friend went like he went out there um, to go like just check on like they I don't know they're doing some like follow up training or something. Yeah. The dog bit him like in the stomach. I have in I was thinking like a little dog bite. No, the whole thing was like this big. Took up his stomach, slashed, and then got septic. Like it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this like black and blue and red and then like oh uh, it was like gosh. the worst thing I've ever seen I was like oh okay like so those dog bites are those are like actual those are serious bites. dog bites <laughs> not, <laughs> not little Nemo no not, like, Nemo not when Nemo. Kaz like uh tries to bite you with his like snuggle tooth like <laughs> all right y'all I am here with Amy Robbins I have been friends with her for quite some time but I don't know how she has not been out to my ranch before like well a I know you've been invited I had to find it <laughs> <laughs> Here I I'm am. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. I literally get to your house. I'm like, okay, where are we? Are we like in East Texas? Like West? Like where are we? I never looked on the map to see, but it's so beautiful out here. I'm glad I yes. got to come. I know. I'm glad you finally got to make it out. You yeah, didn't have to come I know. And... I know. I feel bad. like a bad friend. I haven't come to, to visit you, but now that I know where it is, yes. and it's not a bad drive. We can have girl night. I know we can. <laughs> and like the fact that you have all this land that we can go shoot and yes. do like the fun stuff that we love to do and be uninhibited just is very appealing. I know we need to have like a girls night where we like shoot guns and it's like do all the girls things. night yes yeah, I like it <laughs> yes well for those of y'all that don't know Amy Robbins is the founder of Alexo Athletica and that is a line that I have been wearing for quite some time now we met back in 2018 I think that's what I think we it was 2018 yeah we had a booth at like a turning point yeah a turning convention point and I see this cute like little blondes I thought they were sisters uh <laughs> like coming up to the booth and lo and behold like I found out it was your mom yeah like you, me and, and my like, mom wow. were there yeah that was before like I had friends at turning point so <laughs> I would make my mom go with me to the events and um so I wouldn't like just be sitting there like alone yeah don't but blame you now yeah. I have like my yeah. girl squad with turning point yeah so. and so do you tell your mom like mom I'm like mom you, you can, can hang say out. that yeah. if you want <laughs> even though we love your mom and we love your mom yes. like being there but um yeah so I met Amy at that turning point convention yep. and she she told me a little bit about her brand, but after this whole time, I don't think you've actually ever told me like the whole story behind your brand. Hey. I know like I've heard like bits and pieces here and there, but I want to hear it from you. Like firsthand, how did Alexo Athletica yeah. be born? Yeah, <laughs> how was birthed? Um, so it's, it's a great question. So gosh, um, I kind of take it back to my childhood, like to set everything up um, because I've always been a Second Amendment supporter my parents always taught me like the value and the importance of firearms, firearm safety, firearm proficiency. We grew up shooting. Um, Were it, you born and raised in Texas? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Born and raised in Texas. Um, and then I grew up in a little small town uh, just north of Dallas. And so like, I mean, we always had firearms in the house. I always saw my dad. I remember when we'd take road trips and sometimes my dad's like revolver would like slide out <laughs> on the floorboard of the car. And I'd be like, what is what, that? Where is that dad? That on? You know, and I, I loved my dad's response because it was never like, he wasn't ever trying to hide them from us or keep yeah. them from us. It was always like, I, this is a tool girls, you know, for if I need to protect your mom or you. And so like, I always grew up with this foundation thinking that the firearm is a tool and it can be used to protect your family. Yeah. So that was really my, my foundation. But outside of that, I was by no means a gun girl. Um, and I say that because fast forward to 2013, I got hired. Um, the NRA was building an entire platform um, called NRA TV. And they were looking for a host of the show to host with a guy named Colin Noir, um, who was like a rising YouTube star in the, in the firearm space. I'd yeah. never heard of him before at that point. And um, I got hired to be the co-host with him on that show, which was like exploring gun ownership with millennials and uh, their lifestyle. And I was like, I don't even know why I'm hosting this show. I know <laughs> nothing about firearms. Did you own a gun at the time? I had just gotten one for my Christmas present. And because oh. we lived in the country, my husband traveled all the time and I would always have to be like, hey, honey, remind me again, like how to put those like bullets in the thing, you know, <laughs> that thing. And then... How do I, how do I, I can't push that thing. I always called it a thing. It's like, I can't push this slide. Now I know it's a slide. And like, he would have to do it all for me. Yeah. And I was like, really hoping that I never had to use that gun because I, I wasn't trained really on yeah. it. Um, and so like, that was like my journey. That was kind of, it was a little intimidating to me, but if I had to use it, I would by, yeah. by all means. And, and I think that's how a lot of girls are. For is, sure. Like they, 
they're like, I guess if I have to use it, I can figure it out. And I mean, I've been in that position too. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I would rather just someone like load it, do it for me, and then I can like shoot it. Oh yeah. Because I feel like I can shoot it, but I don't feel comfortable doing all the things. But like, it needed to be ready to go. Yeah. I was like, hey, make sure, because I don't remember if the safety is up or down, if it's on. Or yeah. Off, so just make sure it's ready to go. <laughs> like, I, for I me. understand. I have been yeah. there at that point in my life too. Yeah. Um, but now I'm like super comfortable with well, it. And, and I, I mean, it's just the more that you practice, yes, the more you get comfortable with it. And that was a big part of my journey into this. So at that point when I was getting into all of this, there really weren't other women doing it. At this point, Instagram was like brand new. So there were no YouTube channels, no influencers, no influencers, no Instagram. I mean, the only people I had in my life teaching me about guns were the people that were on the show uh, that I was working with and then like my husband and my dad. And so as I started going to the range and getting more comfortable with this and I picked it up really quickly. And so I really took a hold of the training and I started loving it. Like I could, I could pick up any platform, shotgun, AR, pistol, and I knew how to operate the firearm. And I remember thinking this is the most empowering thing that I've ever done in my life. And I want more women to, to have this experience. And so as I started talking about it and I I got an Instagram account (laughs) and it started growing really, really quickly. And then I would have women come to me and be like, Hey, how do I shoot this gun? How do I do this? How do I do that? And I was like, suddenly, like, I felt like I was the expert in this, you know, teaching my husband things. (laughs) I get guys that have messaged me questions about it. And I'm like, I'm like, wow, like, a um, man that's older than me asking me sure. questions about guns. Okay, like, I'll do that. I like that. I like this. I like position. It. This is kind of like, nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so having a gun for self defense in your home was very different to me than concealed carrying. So oh, the for whole sure. notion and idea of concealed carrying, I thought was really wacky. I thought that everyone, because all the guys on my show had their license to carry. Yeah. All the women that I worked with at this advertising agency had their license to carry. And I'm like what is wrong with you? Like nothing's ever happened to me before. Why are you so paranoid? Why do you carry a gun with you? And I remember walking out of the parking garage one day and this little bitty girl um, that was wearing Christian Louboutins and like a DVF wrap dress. She, I was like, okay, tell me why you have a gun in your purse. And she said, well, if something were to happen to me right this second, I could do something about it. The best you could do is call the cops and wait seven minutes. And I was like, oh, Okay, like maybe, okay, so maybe she is onto something. So that kind of stuck in my head. Well, again, I never took that next step to go get my license to carry Mm -hmm. until I was out training for a marathon in 2014, Um, lived in the country, back roads, same journey every single day. Mm -hmm. Um, Nothing had ever happened to me. I felt very, very safe on these back roads until one day um, there was a big white van that came over the hill. It had about seven, six or seven men in the van. And I remember I was no, I mean, there was nobody out there. So when they came over and they started slowing down, they rolled their windows down, they did the harassing like cat calls yeah. and, you know, and, and just, just that kind of stuff. Like not, nothing beyond that. Well, they drove off and they went to the end of the road and then they turned back around. I was like, oh my gosh. Like that was my like, <gasps> what am I going to do? what am I going to do if I can't take on seven men? I can't outrun them. You know, (laughs) where am I going to go? Like, what am I going to do? Um, and they, they did it again. Like they slowed down and they kind of followed me and they just made those annoying cat calls and then they drove off. So I tell everybody, I was like, my story ended there. Thank God. But I went home and I started researching and I found that 80% of women walkers and joggers had that same or similar experience where they felt like their safety was threatened. Yeah. And I was like, that's a huge number of, of women. And a lot of women prefer to be outside and to be outdoors on their own to get their exercise. Right. Um, so I went and got my license to carry. I looked at how many women were on the rise of getting their license to carry in 2014. And I saw that you know, there's no athletic company. We're all wearing athletic clothes. Yeah. 80% of the day. So why is no athletic company addressing this issue of keeping women safe and empowering them through like their choice to protect themselves? And so after putting numbers on paper and looking at just where the growth could go, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Like I will create places and and storage spaces for women to keep any self-defense tool of choice, whether it's mace, a taser and a firearm. Cause I didn't want to exclude the firearm Yeah. because it was such a big part of my life. And I felt confident carrying a firearm. So I wanted to give women the opportunity to carry whatever they wanted. And through that choice and, and the ability to choose, I feel like it gives them so much confidence. So that's how Alexo came to be. That's, um, that's amazing. Like, yeah. 
I mean, super thankful nothing escalated like <laughs> Me past too. that point. But mm -hmm. there's so many times that it could and it yeah. has. And it has. I mean, Especially for many women out there. Like, yeah. You look at you look at stories and I always found it interesting that you had to go dig for the stories of the yeah. women that like were dying on their runs. Like it'd be on the back page of the newspaper or the last story of the night on your nightly news, but it was happening all the time. You've got the Molly Tibbetts story really kind of put things in what? the in the forefront. So Molly Tibbetts was a college age student and she was out running on her back roads just like I was. She had had a stalker and the guy had followed her and stalked her and, and he killed her and threw her body in a cornfield. And so that one actually made national news. And I was like, as much as I hate hearing that, like, I'm glad this was right around the Me Too movement. So we were starting to hear a little bit more about this happening. Um, Karina Vetrano is another lady that was in New Jersey that was out running, um, got murdered by some random person, um, some homeless person. Uh, Karina Vetrano, uh, Wendy Sullivan murdered in broad daylight, out jogging, D.C., Washington, D.C., by a homeless man. I mean, like, so these things are happening. Yeah, you can, and they're not talked about. Yeah, and they you can't ignore headlines. that they're happening. And so just to be able to give women the ability to run safely and run with confidence was yeah. really what the mission of um, Alexo, that's that's what we started out doing. And obviously, like, we've expanded and grown beyond that. Like, we're, we're launching our men's line this summer. Um, we've got a lot of other things, like, in the works. But ultimately, it is we are the brand that supports people's right to protect themselves and we will never back down from that that's incredible and super inspiring thank and you let me just say i love y'all's athletic wear i wear it like all the time even if i'm not <laughs> carrying anything like they're just super comfortable yeah. athletic pieces what how many pieces do y'all have i know y'all have like Ooh. leggings i've seen like Sports I don't even know how many SKUs we have at this point. We started out with like a, with, actually we started out with more SKUs. I mean, we had um, several leggings was like our key pieces that, that we started with. We had some jackets and tops and then we've expanded to skirts, joggers. Uh, we're both wearing our yeah. brand new like all day pant, which is really supposed to be a good transition from work to play and people can just wear them all day. And so and that's what they're called, the all day pant. The all day the pant. The all day <laughs> pant. Um, and that's really what this is about. We didn't want it to just stop with leggings and can still carry leggings. This is really about the entire active lifestyle and why you're wearing your active clothes. People are wearing them to work now. Like our skirts have been, you know, a lot of real estate agents love wearing our skirts because it's athletic and comfortable, but it's dressy enough that you can dress it and up or dress it down. And that's smart too, especially for real estate agents. They can dress nicely with yep. a skirt, but they can also carry mm -hmm. just because they're in places by themselves with yep. like a couple of other people. And I've heard stories about that happening. It does. Well. I mean, just go Google Dateline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, oh and this God. is not like us being paranoid. I mean, like, these things really are happening. And I think when it comes to carrying a firearm, at least this is for me, like, I hope I never am in a situation where yeah. I have to use my firearm. I really don't. And I think that's a misconception for a lot of people with guns. Is they think, oh, you know, these people that carry guns are just looking for a fight. Or they're looking for <laughs> yeah, a Yeah, I never use it. want to have to no. use a gun, like, if I don't have to. Yeah, like, but, but I'd rather have one and not, and need, not it. need it than, you know, need, need it one and, and not, not have, have it. it. That's and, what I always say. I mean, it's, it's so true, though, because... It's, it's no different to me than keeping like a spare tire in your car. We carry because we want to be prepared for whatever yeah. the day can bring. And I once I, I get that on my body, I don't think about it the rest of the day. Yeah. It helps me be more situationally aware. It helps me pay attention to my surroundings. It helps me like I maybe I do think of things differently, like where I park my car. Um, what time of day I'm, I'm going out to do certain things, uh, where I'm looking around when I get out to pump my gas or, yeah, you know, situational. Yeah. Awareness. Like it, it does help me be more situationally aware because ultimately if I can get out of a situation and drive away or run away without having to use my, my tool, like that's what I would prefer to do. But yeah. you can't do that if you're not situationally aware. Exactly. You know? And so I think that that is like one of the biggest things that, and I'm, I'm glad like you're doing what you're doing now because there's so much awareness that's coming to the forefront of what everybody's doing with um, the like second amendment advocacy and can still carry resources that that wasn't around. I, yeah. I kind of had to forge my own path and figure this out myself. And I'm so glad that there's more women like you that are doing channels like this to help women know that they have options. 
how to dress, how to do this, how to get into this, and see someone like you do it and not feel so intimidated. Yeah, to... it, I think it's so like intimidating for some people, and it's even been sure. intimidating for me before, like to watch these channels and they use all these big terms and yeah. like I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, well, and I, I don't you... understand it, and it's really hard to like learn from yeah. that. I want to, that's what I want to do with my channel is I want people to learn with me as I'm learning yeah. the path as well and teach people those questions or give people those answers to the questions they might be like too afraid to ask. They might so think important. they're dumb questions yep. and like I am the queen of quote unquote <laughs> dumb questions. I have no problem asking whatever comes to my mind even yeah. if I think like I should probably know this. Well, like, it's, I'm it's gonna good. ask it just to just to I'll get make it out sure. there. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm glad you're doing that because it's so hard for me now that I've been in it for so long to remember those questions yeah. that that I asked, and I find myself using some of the terminology like that I picked up just from being in the industry, and I'm like. I don't think they knew what I was talking about there and that's okay. But I forget, we, we all do, yeah. we all kind of fall into it. So it's so good to have people on this journey that you can relate to and look at them and be like, okay, I do the same activities as them. I wear the same clothes. She looks like me, you know, yeah. she's, she's pretty cute. I think I can listen to what she has to say and just then they like, want to follow along. Just like you said, the thingy. The thingy. The thingy. The thingy and the thing. The, were you talking about the magazine? Yeah. Okay. Which I didn't know it was called a magazine. Exactly. The only and thing I heard was a clip. Yeah. And the good Lord, don't call it a clip. Like, definitely don't call it that. Oh, gosh, yeah. I get freaking tore apart uh -huh. if I, I mean, I still mess up on, like, gun terminology and, and like, people in different the, calibers. It's I'm only like, people in the gun industry that are going to hate on you. And I'm like, guys, that's actually really what we need to change about the yeah, industry. Yeah, I'm like, is. I never claim to be an expert. Y'all just chill, relax. Yeah. Like, it's okay. We all make mistakes. I'm sure you've misspoke on something as yeah, well. So no, like, exactly. And that's one thing I would tell the gun industry. Hey, let's be more welcoming and not so intimidating. Yeah. Like, there's a lot I'm of I'm sure different... you have messed up in your time, yep. like, of learning guns. Like, you didn't start out yep. knowing everything. And there's a lot of people at different places on their journey. I remember, I don't know if you did this when you started out. Like, when I first got my license to carry, I was terrified to keep it on my body. Even though I had yeah. been shooting, I thought that the gun could just go off by itself. And I remember thinking, like, well, I don't know, like, what if it just, like, shoots me in the leg? Shoots you know, me in the leg. Like, you know, like, yeah. What am I going to do? So I put it in my purse. Yeah. And people that are really big, like, concealed carry advocates will tell you, do not put it in your purse. Okay, I understand their argument. and it, But it, was, it had to be, like, a progression for yeah. me. And I had to go, I did a sim training at a gun range that um, I, I had the, like, fake gun. It was, like, the simulation uh -huh. gun in the bag. And they had this guy with a knife on the screen run at you like at, from 30 feet, 15 feet, and 10 feet. And it in real time, you got to see how quickly you could get to your gun and stop the threat. I died every time. Like I could not get to my gun. And then when they when I put it on my body, I was easy to get it out yeah. and get on target. And I was like, oh, that changed my mind. So there's value in training. There's value in getting out there and, and make like practicing the different ways that yeah. you're going to carry. It does no good for me to sit there and tell you don't carry in your purse. You have to decide for yourself, like go to a sim course, figure out, like do some training to see how long it takes you to find your gun. Maybe, I mean, mine was in my Louis Vuitton bag in the bottom of this. <laughs> in the never we're full bag that's that. like at the bottom we're underneath like that. probably a wrapper. <laughs> yeah, you're not finding that, that gun anytime soon. So maybe you have like a more conducive concealed carry bag and great. Are you training with it? Are you practicing with yeah. it? Um, because that is the most important thing that you could possibly do is make sure that you are trained with wherever you're going to carry and whatever firearm you're going to carry because when you are, you just lessen the opportunity for you to have like an accidental discharge or neg it's really not accidental. They're negligent discharges if you, you know, have some sort of accident. So. Yeah. And, but that also like you carrying in your purse, it's a great step because mm -hmm. you're carrying yep. it. It's on you mm -hmm. at some point in time. Yeah. It might not be the best option, but right. it's not at your gun, in your it's gun better safe than at in home. Your, or better in your car. Yeah. It's better that you have it. I mean, it's better to have one there, like somewhere that you can access, you know, at, yeah. at a moment's notice. And, exactly. And, you, and not all situations are the same. It, yeah. You know, if you're in a grocery, if someone 
jumping on your back while you're running is very different than like having time to be prepared if a mass shooter comes in a grocery store. Yeah. You know, and so like at that point you probably would have time to find find your firearm exactly. in your purse. You know, so so there's just so many scenarios. There's just not a one size fits all. Just like there's not one shoe that you wear for every single occasion. There is not one concealed carry situation that works for every single situation, every outfit, every, you know, every self-defense scenario that you could find yourself in. So hopefully you explore all this stuff on your channel and you get to give people a a little taste of um, just what they can expect when when they come watch your show. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you for giving us all of the insight (laughs) in Alexo Athletica. Like, tell me what's next. I know y'all, you've been giving me like some sneak hints about like a summer launch. You said something about a men's line fall. Well, I've got a few things back here. Um, I can't wait. Hopefully you'll get to wear some of it today. Um, We just launched our running shorts that are really like a crowd favorite. They really give you the ability to run hands-free. If you're a big runner, you don't like to run with things in your hands. So we have um, appendix and kidney carry locations. Most of our styles are completely ambidextrous. So we have right and left um, appendix and kidney carry pockets. Um, however, in the shorts, we did replace the left-handed appendix with a phone pocket because uh, <laughs> we needed to put it somewhere. So we've got that. Um, we've got skirts. We've got, we might be sold out of all of our joggers. Um, the dress pant is going on sale. Oh, probably by the time this is aired, they're yeah. probably on sale. <laughs> um, we've got more prints. Like we wanted to start incorporating metallic fabrics and oh, start playing okay, around okay. with like fun prints and fun colors and all that. So that's coming. Um, and I see something back here that is more me, that metallic camo. Yeah. I think, I don't think Amy wants to admit it, but I think she like secretly has me in the back of her mind when she designs these because like the like, last three launch, haven't y'all had three different camo yeah, designs? Yeah, like that black camos, one, yep. those face forward ones. Well, and people can't get enough of camo. Like I'm you, telling y'all, like it's so cliche, but like, Camo is my favorite. But it's so I don't want to say favorite color, but like Pattern. I love yeah. yes, I love like anything camo. If I'm in a store and I see something that's like, of course not the stick and trees. Like I'm not right. that's not yeah. my favorite color, but like yeah. Yeah. if it has I'm like oh. I am drawn to it. Well, it's made its way into mainstream fashion yes. too, which just makes it really easy. I mean, you have these super high-end luxury brands that, like lifestyle are brands that are camo. all using camo. And so- I'm like, do y'all know what that is really used for? I know. You probably don't support <laughs> that, but whatever, you're getting camo out there. Mm-hmm. So we have all that um, for the women, and then we are launching men. Uh, the men have been patiently awaiting this launch, so we are, so excited and our men's line is really geared towards the casual concealer we are not for the super tactical guys that are you know you've got a segment within the gun industry that is very very tactical and and great and we need that you know but there's a lot of dads out there that don't carry because it's not comfortable. They yeah. don't carry because they don't think about it. So, and that's a bigger population than for sure. Super um, into it people w- when it comes to yeah. concealed carry. I think. So, I mean, being in the gun world, like yes, we see those people that are like gun everything, but. Yeah. There's so many just average Americans, dads yep. out there that have like one or two guns. Yep because they like it for safety and they shoot them probably maybe once a year. Yep. Well, just like with the women, I mean, if you give them convenience and comfort and easy places to carry, maybe they will carry more. And the more people we have carrying and exercising our right, the more advocates for the Second Amendment exactly. we're going to have. The and good so, people. Yes, exactly. The ones that do follow the law. Yes, ex- well, exactly. Um, and so, you know, that is really the, the guy that we're going after. We're going after the guy that loves his comfortable joggers, that wants to, you know, just throw that on, not have to worry about a bulky holster and a belt just to run to the convenience store yeah. at nighttime, you know, that he can just put them in those joggers and the built-in pants. Um, so we've, we're super excited about uh, the men's line and, and really just the opportunity that we're going to have to meet even more of the demand for millions of Americans. So Absolutely. Well, if you guys want to follow Alexo Athletica mm. on Instagram, Facebook, 
Y'all have a YouTube, right? Um, or? yeah, we're not super active on it right now. Mostly Instagram is our, our most active platform. Um, so check us out there. We have a TikTok page as well if you're into TikTok. Um, but TikTok <laughs> likes to um take away gun things on there. Um, yes. Yeah, so that has been an issue with TikTok. If apparently if you show women how they can stay safe on their runs, you get banned and flagged for community. <laughs> violations <laughs> and then y'all's website at yeah Alexo. it's alexoathletica.com it's literally alex with an o and then athletica.com awesome well thank you so much thank for joining you. me today i know we're going to have a couple more videos coming out in the Ooh. future maybe she can show me how she dresses to concealed carry so that'll probably be the next video <laughs> but make sure y'all tune in next Wednesday at 5.30 Central here on Facebook and on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and hit that follow button. Until next time, see you guys.